I'm Moshe Lindstrom Halbert. We're here at The Room at the Bay. I'm with Toronto fashion writer Gracie Carroll and Hi. we're on a little bit of a shoe expedition or a shoe off if you will. I have on an amazing pair of Margiela sneakers. They are amazing but I also have a pair of amazing Pierre Hardys on. And we're going to break down some of spring's top footwear trends. So our first trend is um, quite a shoe movement that we're seeing right now. It's the return to the pointy, ladylike pump in all its incarnations that we saw all over the runways. So this is a Pierre Hardy and what I love about this one is if you're still playing around with introducing block coloring to your wardrobe, you could wear it with something really simple and more monochromatic and then bring in that pop of color. Mm -hmm, definitely. Well, speaking of pop of color, I went in quite a bold direction with my pick, the Charlotte Olympia platform pointy pump, which is quite a statement. I love the mix of red and pink, um, very Balenciaga to combine those colors, Spanish influence. Um, and this shoe just has such a great proportion to it. Super, super um, high heel, but then broken up a bit with the platform. And then you're still getting that very ladylike elongated toe. So this is a definite statement. So I couldn't resist this amazing neon lace Nicholas Kirkwood pump. It's just so many good things at once. Pretty fun um, shoe for spring. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I can help it be drawn to these Brian Atwoods, which are amazing. Printy and soft, which we love. Love the polka dot too. Mm -hmm. Almost animal print, but more of the polka dot trend. It's really pretty. What's great about these two is perhaps if you're not you know, that comfortable with wearing head to toe print, which is such a big trend this season. You can try adding in a printed shoe at first, which, you know, it's like baby steps into the trend. Exactly, and I think the thing, the thing about these shoes is they're not really meant to match what you're wearing. You know, you can even have them clash or wear them with a whole mixed print look. The point is that, um, that you're just supposed to ha sort of have fun with it. These are pretty playful. Mm -hmm. So for spring, a big trend that we're seeing is just the get up and go zippy flat in all different incarnations. Gracie, you have a lovely um, version there in sort of geranium pink. This is a Giancio Rossi. It's a little bit softer than a masculine brogue and you can really wear it with anything. I mean, you could wear it with shorts, you could wear it with a skirt. Uh, yeah, you could definitely wear that with dressier pieces. A bit definitely. more about like a flowy skirt for spring because it's got that, it, it's just so pretty. <laughs> this is probably my favorite shoe in here right now. This Agreed. Christopher Kane, I want to call it a beetle boot. I love this shoe. Christopher Kane, you're a genius. Um, I saw this on, I think it was Alexa Chung not too long ago, and I just thought, what is that? Because it's a very classic um, sort of brogue style boot, but then you have this pop of neon hue with the elastic here, and it just feels so well made, but then it's still, you know, really structured but comfortable because it's a flat. I, I love this boot.